Hey guys, are you here? And today I'm gonna do something just a little bit different and break down this new island expedition PvP thing that you guys have been hearing about. So pretty much, if you guys don't know about this, it's a little bit of PvE, a little bit of PvP, three versus three in an island expedition. What that means is you have an opponent, you guys each roll up on boats, you guys start and you have to um, collect 12,000 Azerite. The first person to collect 12, or the first team rather to collect 12,000 Azerite is going to be the victor. It's, it's kind of a new like little test mode that Blizzard's been uh, putting out there. And my initial impressions before we even jump into the video is that I like the idea that PvP has more than team deathmatch, right? That there's an objective in addition to killing enemy players. I think that's very cool. Um, however, I'm gonna give you guys a lot of my feedback um, kind of during during this video as far as what I think could be done to improve it and what it needs if it was gonna go competitive versus just kind of casual for a fun type of thing, right? Um, and I, I really do like the idea of something like this taking over just a basic 3v3 team deathmatch where um, you're killing the enemy team to where it's very, very objective based and you're you're competing to collect a certain material or competing to collect um, something specific. And um, it does need a lot of work, I think, but I think it's a good kind of starting zone that um, Blizzard kind of went through. So right away, we're running towards the X on the maps. So when you press um, M or you just see here on the mini map, um, there's an X. So right away, when you run towards the X, you're gonna get additional uh, resources or have more kind of mines to uh, mine or different ways to collect that Azerite. So right now we're mining um, Azerite and that's gonna to collect towards your score. Whenever you kill anything on the map, it's gonna to go towards your score as well. So we can do like a big AOE pull um, and kind of cleave everything down, or we can kind of just collect the mine nodes and go for PVP and kill the enemy team. Now the stacking debuff that you get right here, 26 as right, 27 as right. Now as, as that gets higher, that's essentially my bounty. So if the enemy kills me, they are going to get this number of as right. And that was kind of the first thing that initially um, kind of was a little confusing for me, right? I think if you kill someone, you should get a lot larger of a bounty. Now, let me just say this. I'm pretty biased because I'm a PvP player, right? I, I know that I'm biased and I like the PvP aspect of the game quite a lot. So in my opinion, if you kill someone, you shouldn't, pro you shouldn't really just get a, this small number of of Azerite, it does get larger and larger and larger as time goes on. However, just by collecting a node or killing a mob, you're getting, you know, collecting a node, you might get 150. Killing a mob, you might get a couple hundred, as you see, plus 300 Azerite collected right there. So for killing a player, um, in my opinion, you should be getting much more than that. It's not just maybe 50 or 150. I think it should be much, much more valuable to actually kill the enemy team. Uh, now that's just my opinion and um, definitely feel free to disagree with me. I was talking about it on stream and some people were agreeing with me and saying that, you know, definitely if you kill, kill the enemy team, it should feel very rewarding. Um, not just like, oh, I got 50 Azerite from three of them now. Like I could have just mined a node in that amount of time. Um, it should be like we, we wiped the enemy team. Now we're, now we're significantly ahead, right? Um, and the other thing was spawn timers, right? Spawn timers are similar to Battlegrounds right now, so a 30 second spawn timer. However, I think it spawns you randomly within that 30 seconds. So you could spawn and technically get an instant release and get really lucky and actually spawn instantly. Whereas we are thinking maybe a change could be increase that spawn timer. So if you die and die again and die again and die again, it increases your spawn timer or something like that. Um, as you see here, my druid just got one shot and there's actually some items that you can use to help you one shot. Um, that you buy right at the start of the boat. If you saw at the start of the video, you can right click there's a vendor that you can use um, a currency called something to balloons to actually purchase these PVE items that kind of one shot. They one shot our druid there. So my druid was dead, he just res. I caught the end of this timer now. Now I am in the graveyard. So they got that bounty for killing me now. Um, I drew, they got the bounty for killing the druid. Now they're catching up a little bit in score and they're running, I think, double demon hunter warlock. And I guess the next thing I wanna bring up is that there is no um, S Serena or Gladius or even just default blizzard frames for the enemy team in the upper right hand corner, kind of like a battleground where that will show the FC. I would like to see that implemented so you can kind of see what you're facing. Maybe not even till the gates open, but just while the gates are open, like while you're actually playing, there's some type of enemy arena frame so you can um, use it for, you know, targeting or to see if they have trinkets or just health mana cast bars. It's just, it's a, better way to make it more competitive in the PvP space to kind of add stuff like that. 
Anyway, I think my rogue actually did a good job of cleaning them up and vanishing, kind of getting away a little bit there. So that was actually pretty nice of him. I don't think my rogue ever died there. Um, however, we're still kind of in the lead, and this was kind of my point. We were farming quicker. They killed us. But since we were farming quicker, we're still in the lead, right? I don't like that aspect very much. If they killed us, if they killed all three of us, I think they should be in the lead right now by a significant margin. So whether that means when they kill us, they should steal our resources and it should take a large amount of our resources, whether that means if they kill us, they should get more resources, whether that means the when they kill us, our rest time should be longer. Something about killing the enemy team has to feel more rewarding. Um, I played another game before this, actually, or maybe two games before this, and we actually lost. We were killing the enemy team over and over. We killed them two, three, maybe four times in a row, and we still lost because when they res, they just ran away. We, we couldn't find where they went. They collected a whole, you know, half of the island, AOE'd them down, collected more Azerite, and we actually lost even though we killed them over and over and over. They never killed us once. So I guess the point is, in my opinion, I think the PvP has to feel more rewarding. And I think the stream is kind of agreeing with me on that one, is that it, you you want to be able to kill someone and feel like, okay, okay, we're, we're in the lead now because we just wiped the enemy team. Now we're going to be able to catch up on Azerite. Um, having said that, look, we're farming pretty fast here. We're at 5,100 Azerite. It's Alliance versus Horde, right? We're Horde. Um, I'm undead, right? We're the, we're the Horde team. And we're, we're farming pretty quick. So the enemy team, essentially, if they want to catch up, is going to have to contest us, right? So that's kind of the advantage of farming quicker. If you're farming quicker, there's no reason to hunt them down, right? Because PvP doesn't reward much. So if you're farming quicker, you just want to keep farming. Now, if, if you're farming slower, it, it gives you incentive to actually hunt down the enemy team and then kill them, right? Because if you are farming slower and you don't do anything about it, then you're just going to lose, right? The enemy team's just going to farm quicker. You're going to eventually lose. So if you're if, if the enemy team is farming quicker, you have to hunt them down. Now, the problem, in my opinion, is that if they're farming quicker, you're spending time to hunt them down. You're, you're searching the whole island. You finally, um, there's a fog of war, by the way, so you can't just open your map and see where they are. You finally find them. You hunt them down. You kill them. Guess what? They res, and you're still losing, right? Because the kill on the enemy team didn't actually do much. Right. So once again, I just want to really nail this point that the scaling for killing enemy players, in my opinion, has to be increased dramatically um, for it to be like, okay, we're being out farmed, but we just wiped them. Now we're back in the lead or now we're tied or whatever. Um, and now they're dead for 30 seconds. So now we can actually um, get this point lead back. You know, maybe they farm quicker than us, but maybe we can beat them in a, you know, in a 3v3 situation. And I don't think if you kill them once, you should instantly win the game, or kill them twice, you should instantly win the game. But if you're killing them three, four, five times, and um, you still have a decent farm speed, I think that that should be a point where like, okay, you know, you're, you're pretty much farming them at that point. You should probably have a pretty sizable lead. Now here, um, the, the Azerite's actually getting closer. They're, they're actually picking up their farming speed quite a bit. And as you can see, my healer on the minimap is running towards these nodes and actually collecting the nodes as he's healing us. And the rogue and I are killing these um, mobs. Now we are killing the um, silver dragon mobs, the rare mobs, quite a bit because they reward a lot of Azerite when you kill them. That was 600 Az Azerite just for killing that one um, wolf right there. The uh, silver dragon, the elite dragon. Um, now we're coming over here towards the X's on the minimap. And once again, you kind of always want to move towards these X's. I'm actually not quite sure what the balloons do. I think they might spawn rares uh, randomly, something like that. Um, but we're actually just continuing the kill, moving towards the X, and we're going to probably do a big AOE pull here um, in a second. But we also want to keep an eye on where's the enemy team because um, the score is actually getting quite close now. There's 7,200 to 7,700. So once we find the enemy team, we really want to be able to wipe them to regain our lead just a little bit, right? Um, even with the PvP not doing too much, it's still, you know, if you if you can kill them really quickly, it's still definitely worth it, but it doesn't feel very rewarding, I guess is the point. Um, as you can see, though, as time goes on, 242 Azerite for killing me, which I still don't think is enough even at, at, at a base level. I think it should maybe base be 250 and then move up to closer to 500, um, something like that. But as you can see, it, it does get higher, higher and higher and higher. Now we actually are losing a little bit. They actually got their farm on. Not sure what the enemy team is doing to do that. Maybe collecting a bunch of nodes. Maybe they did a huge AOE pull with a couple of leads and collected nodes at the same time. Not exactly quite sure. But we are actually getting out farmed for the time being. So we want to keep that in mind and really start hunting them down. Now here on the um, kind of the northeast, southwest side of the map, you can see that we actually find them. So it's double demon or warlock. This is our second engagement. 
Um, and if we can wipe them here, we might be able to regain our lead. So we're down about a thousand points right now. So if we can put them in the graveyard, steal their Azurite, it's 162 Azurite from the Demon Hunter, about 200 from the Warlock, 180 from the Warlock, something like that. So we, we want to be able to do that. Now that Void Burst is kind of the item that one shots you. That's why I preemptively Ice Block there. And yeah, so that, I mean, we, we instantly wiped the enemy team. And I would really like to see this mode feel more like PvP and less about just how fast you can farm, right? Like, if we just kill the enemy team that fast, and we, and the first time we saw them, I, I guess the first time they saw them, they just one-shot our true and then one-shot me. So I guess that was a little bit different. But if we can if we can just keep finding them and killing them that fast, I would really like to see, okay, if, if we can continue to just kill them this quickly over and over, you know, we should definitely have a sizable advantage. I mean, I'm not sure if Azerite capped at 250 or if it's just not going up anymore um, for the time being. But if it actually caps at 250, I'd say that's probably a, a bad thing, right? That should probably keep, it should maybe start at 250 and then keep going up um, for that PvP combat. Um, but as you can see, we're slowly getting our lead back. I don't know if they kind of gave up at this point or if they just are slow on that res, but they're at 99.63. They haven't really been getting any points for a while now. So I don't know if, like, they spawned and then couldn't find anything to kill, or if one of them, um, like, rage quit. They're like, you know, screw this. We can't really win at this point. But um, we, we are in a pretty nice position here, right? We're at 11, almost 11,000 ounces, right? But like I said, the first to 12,000 is actually going to win the game. Um, so that's, you know, we're really, really close, 900 away. My druid's running around collecting those nodes, doing a great job as a healer. Um, as the healer, since you're not actually DPSing consistently, and it's a position like this where we're all full HP, he's using his druid mobility, running around the map, collecting all the nodes while we're actually just killing it here. Now he's coming into range, hotting us up, and um, keeping us kind of topped off so we can continue our DPS rotation. But in, in the meantime, he's running away and actually collecting more as rate. So yeah, the enemy team is still at 9,900. I'm not sure if they're like in the middle of a huge AOE pull, about to go up to 12,000 right here. Um, but we're like, okay, we're just race to the finish at this point. We're, we're 800 away. Let's just keep, kill a couple more elites or get a couple more nodes and it's pretty much GG. Um, but, you know, we don't know where the enemy team is at. They could essentially have 2,000 Nazarite of, of AOE monsters about to die right now and they could just pop up to 12,000 and, and actually beat us here. So we are still like trying as hard as we can to really like race the clock to as much dps as possible which is why i like this game mode right um dps matters right aoe rotations matter uh like pve uh, like mythic plus strategies of just how fast can you kill a group of mobs matter um a lot of stuff like that matters which i think is very cool right i, I really do want to reiterate that I, I think it's cool to bring in other aspects into the game besides just um pvp like 3v3 you know player versus player i really like the idea of having this additional um objective in the game collecting the as right and then pvp on top of that um the, but i definitely think there's a lot of improvements to make this feel more like a pvp mode instead of just like okay we killed the enemy team that's cool but they're still farming quicker or slower or whatever but anyway this is a pretty fun game there we got that victory um, you definitely want to be able to get at least collect 40,000 Azerite per week to get your weekly done to give your necklace um, additional Azerite to level that up. So make sure to go ahead and do this. You queue for it um, kind of near the southern part of the map, at least for the Horde Zone on the boat. So go ahead and queue up for that, guys, if you haven't already. And I hope you guys enjoy this little different Island Expedition PvP video. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I know it's not the normal arena around here, so I'm really curious about what you guys think about this type of format. So leave all of your comments, criticisms, thoughts down below. Like, I really actually am going to read like all the comments on this video and make sure to see like do you guys like this stuff do you guys hate this stuff do you guys think okay it's cool but it needs a lot of change if it needs a lot of change what change does it need um definitely definitely leave your comments down below on this video thumbs the video down if you didn't like it talk to me in the comments don't forget to subscribe and i'm out of here guys peace